The river is long and it is deep. It runs more than 350 kilometers, crossing northern Guatemala from east to west, breathing life into pristine rainforests. Home to hundreds of species of fish, birds, and small mammals. Supporting tens of thousands of people along its banks. The La Pasión River helps maintain balance in a fragile ecosystem, crucial to the 130 small communities that make its banks their home. One of those settlements is the tiny village of Champerico. About 40 families of Quechí Indians arrived here more than 30 years ago. Domingo Cal is the leader of the community. As auxiliary mayor, he is responsible for the basic services his neighbors need. He shows me the new elementary school that was completed just a year ago. And we walk a bit further under a searing midday sun to a yet-to-be-completed community center that will someday house a small health clinic. Small steps towards making life easier for Champerico and its people. But more recent public works around the village have darker origins. Roads were cut in the village last July by a farming company called Repsa, one of the largest producers of African palm in the region. They cut the roads to allow water trucks easy access to the villagers' homes. They also built concrete reinforcements around a natural spring to provide a well of fresh, clean water to the community. Why? because Repsa is being blamed for the largest environmental disaster to hit La Pasión in decades. A disaster that has left communities like Champerico vulnerable. lamentable. Es sumamente lamentable la situación que se está dando acá porque no hay palabras que puedan de alguna manera sanar lo que en esta oportunidad está padeciendo y viviendo la región del municipio de Sayache Petén y sobre todo de la región del departamento de Petén. Late last April, hundreds of dead fish started appearing on the banks of the river. An as-yet-to-be-identified spill had apparently contaminated its waters. Unusually heavy rains in the area caused containment tanks used at Repsa processing plants like this one to overflow, dumping thousands of liters of residual water into the river. And then, two months later, another disaster. Residents of the area reported seeing tens of thousands of dead fish floating in the river. Champerico's local school teacher recorded what he saw. One of the tomas. Y el agua estaba turbia, ¿verdad? Estaba turbia y tenía un mal olor. No es normal que el agua esté turbia, ¿verdad? No. Vemos esa gran cantidad de peces. Este es un daño ecológico tremendo, señoras y señores. A local cable station reported the story and news of the disaster reached the entire country. No había una fotografía, una imagen capaz de capturar la magnitud del daño y el impacto que provocó. Yuri Melini is an environmental activist who heads a legal aid center for environmental issues in Guatemala City. He was sitting in his office one afternoon when he got word of the massive fish kill. He traveled to the area to investigate, hoping to find clues that would eventually lead to the cause and those responsible. ¿Cómo identificar la causa y buscar la acción reparadora? Que uno buscaría dos acciones. La acción inmediata para parar el daño si hay una fuente contaminante eh, in, 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 in generación continua. Y dos, eh, los responsables de esta situación. 
Nearly four tons of dead fish were found floating along nearly 70 kilometers of the river. Domingo Cal will never forget that day. As blame started to pile up on the palm plantation, environmental authorities and the public university took samples of the water and of the dead fish, looking for evidence of the use of pesticides or anything else to pinpoint the reason. The representative of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights in Guatemala headed an investigation and found that Repsa had not complied with some of the environmental regulations necessary to operate its plants. In Guatemala, as you may know, uh, the, the most secure uh, instruments that uh, authorities have to control the environment and the pollution, etc., are these uh, studies of uh, uh, environment impact. Uh, these are uh, probably not the best instruments that uh, there are at the moment, but nevertheless, they're very helpful in the sense that any enterprise should comply with such studies and in all fields before uh, they have an authorization a license to, to start activities. Well, and unfortunately, in the case of uh, REPSA, uh, we, we, we were able to find only part of these studies uh, for the production, for the plant uh, that products and then transforms the, the uh, palm in, in oil. Nevertheless, for the plantations, uh, we couldn't find any, any, any kind of study. Meanwhile, the people of Champerico were taken by fear. Erlinda Ku is just one of the housewives who no longer has fish to feed her family. Nowadays, her family only eats protein once every two weeks when she kills one of her valuable chickens. The day we visited, Erlinda agreed to walk down to the river's edge. It was the first time she had done so since the incident two months before. Y yo miro que ahorita ya no hay pescado y eso es lo que yo siento porque y cuando había pescado se miraba el pescado brincaba saltaba y ahorita a mí me da mucha tristeza cuando así cuando se murieron los pescados tan lástima ver y a tiempo que nos dijeron que veneno tenía y ahí ya con pena fuimos a agarrar pescado venimos mucha familia bajó a agarrar pescado Pero ahorita miro el río, mis compañeras mujeres lavando, no sé, a ver si no se van a enfermar después. Yo prefiero jalar mi agua y no venir aquí, aunque sea por poquito, voy a lavar mi ropa, digo, pues. As villagers along the river's banks come to terms with the disaster, the blame game is on full force. Bueno, esa es la discusión y ese es el gran desafío, ¿verdad? Eh, la investigación de la verdad de, y el la historia con todos sus antecedentes y eso es lo que provoca tener desde el punto de vista de la investigación criminal una hipótesis con ciertas líneas de investigación que identifiquen qué pudo haber causado. Hasta ahora más del 50% de la hipótesis general y de las líneas de investigación se dirigen a identificar que la empresa puede haber provocado el, la fuente generadora de la contaminación y a partir de ahí han de venirse el hecho, pero hay otras líneas de investigación adicionales we tried to visit the Repsa plants and the palm plantations to get a first-hand look at what many were saying was the source of the contamination. We were refused entry, so we tried another way. So officials from Repsa have told us that they cannot allow us onto their land to take some pictures. So what we've done is we've crossed the river to the bank opposite the plantation and we're going to use a quadricopter with a camera attached to it so that we can fly over the zone, take a look at the African palm and also take a look at the processing plant from which the contaminants are alleged to have entered the river. Seen from the air, the Repsa plantations are a sea of green African palm. 
the species imported from Africa to produce palm oil. Its growth has been so huge since it was first introduced to Guatemala in the early 2000s that the country is now one of the top 10 leading producers of palm oil in the world. And the amount of land used to harvest African palm grew nearly 600% in the decade between 2000 and 2010. The demand for land put pressure on local communities. Human rights and labor activists say thousands of families were forced to sell their plots of land to big palm companies as they encroached on the area. Repsa says it cannot control what some of its agents do to obtain land and insists it pays what it considers a fair price for land. And representatives of the industry as a whole say it is being unfairly targeted. Hemos estado, digamos, buscando todas las, 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 los espacios disponibles para que la palmicultura en Guatemala sea una palmicultura sostenible. Nosotros nos hemos establecido principalmente en áreas que eran destinadas a la ganadería. Entonces, cuando uno hace un análisis entre qué es mejor la ganadería que genera eh, probablemente una, uno o dos empleos en tantas hectáreas, Eh, si sí creemos que la palma viene a ser, digamos, parte de la solución a, a esta situación. They took us to visit what they consider a model palm processing plant in the La Pasión Basin. Lo que tenemos aquí atrás es nuestra caldera, es a que alimentada con el mismo combustible nuestro, nuestra fibra, con eso producimos vapor para mover nuestra planta y además vapor para generar para mover nuestra turbina, con la cual generamos energía. Somos autosuficientes. They showed off the environmental containment measures they say are standard in the industry. Tenemos este dique de contención, donde lo pueden ver alrededor, y pues pueden ver aquí abajo el nacimiento de agua limpia, The head of environmental affairs for Repsa told us they use the same measures used by the other plants in the region, and he insists there is no way Repsa can be blamed. No, los análisis de, de laboratorio que se tomaron el 29 de, de abril demuestran que la demanda bioquímica de oxígeno estaba regular, como por lo general siempre está en el río. Eh, no hay presencia de, de, de elementos tóxicos en el agua, por lo cual nosotros de, descartamos. Recently, the controversy took a darker turn. A judge in Guatemala City ordered the closing of the Repsa plant for six months to allow a more detailed investigation into its environmental practices and to determine if in fact it was responsible for the fish kill. Two days after that court order, Rigoberto Lima, one of the first activists to blame Repsa for the contamination, was shot to death. Authorities are still looking to see if his death had any relation to the palm oil processing plant. Otra línea tendría que ver con otras actividades que en la zona ocurren y, y que son conocidas públicamente, pero que no están definidas como la existencia de narcolaboratorios en la zona que utilizan químicos y precursores y que alguna de esas situaciones hubiera provocado, por ejemplo. As fingers point, other theories about the reason for the disaster abound. The governor of the region said on local radio drug trafficking could be involved. The area is known for housing clandestine drug laboratories in the jungle and some believe chemical precursors used to manufacture drugs could have been dumped into the water, causing the massive kill. But until results from laboratory analysis are returned and verified by the courts, there is no clear answer to the question of what happened on the La Pasión River. Al día de hoy, podríamos decir que existe un, un misterio sobre qué provocó el hecho, aun cuando está el evidente contundente ahí, tanto científica como eh, audiovisual de que el hecho sí ocurrió. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién lo provocó? Esa es la discusión. Meanwhile, as the river's waters continue to flow by Champerico and the dozens of other communities like it, people struggle to get back to normal. Women have started washing in the river again and fishing. 
and children once again tentatively play in its waters. All of them not knowing fully if the river is as safe as it had been before. And uneasy about the relationship they and the river have with the palm plantations that now dominate their home.